Hi, Eric Lenask here, uh, coming to you from Comtel in Las Vegas. And I'm talking now with uh, Hossam Salib from Positron. Uh, Hossam, thank you uh, for joining me. Welcome. You're welcome. Uh, so, you know, a lot of exciting activity going on, um, you know, around the show floor. Wanted to talk about what uh, Positron's doing here at Comtel this week. Great, thank you. Uh, Comtel is bringing actually a new uh, technology, uh, Com uh, Positron Access, which is my unit, provide uh, access products uh, and in this show we're bringing in a new technology we call it the FlexStream where we provide solutions to our customers to be able to deliver very high bandwidth on existing copper network and have the flexibility of changing the bandwidth uh, based on the application from the upstream direction to the downstream direction. Interesting. Yeah. So explain to me a little more why is FlexStream important to the carriers? Uh, flex team is important to the carriers because today, as you know, uh, in broadband and in wireless, there's so many applications that drive the bandwidth in one direction or the other. For example, video, of course, very high speed downstream, mm -hmm. where you need a lot of bandwidth in the downstream. But then you have YouTube and you have other applications that require a lot of bandwidth in the opposite direction. And having a technology that provide either or based on the customer need we view that as a very key advantage. Because again, you can predict some applications today, but you can't predict them in the future. And you want a technology that can adapt and change with the change of need of your customer, your end customer. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about some specific applications uh, for the technology. Um, I think the number one application right now that's very active for us worldwide is mobile Mac Hall. So obviously, as you know, with all the new iPhone, iPads, and all the new devices in the wireless uh, that use a lot of bandwidth, a lot more bandwidth than traditional phones, uh, mobile backhaul becoming a very difficult problem for carriers to solve. They need a lot more bandwidth, uh, and they can't build a brand new infrastructure network to provide it. So our technology provides very high bandwidth on that existing network, but at the same time, allow them the flexibility of changing that bandwidth as they see the network change. So for example, we have a major carrier in Europe that's been using our product now for the last couple of years. When they started, the traffic in the downstream direction was three to one to the upstream. But over time, as more of their customers started using their PCs with a little memory stick to download more traffic, the, sh the traffic shifted to five to one lot more in the downstream and they were able to change our technology or change the way they use our product to meet that demand. So now they have mobile backhaul cell sites that can provide that ratio that they're seeing from their end customers. Well it's certainly what you mentioned iPads and iPhones and, and just the uh, growing number of wireless devices are only going to increase the need for that kind of technology. Yes. What about 4G? Uh, obviously an increase in data, but also uh, uh, an increase in, in networking te network technologies. Um, what impact is uh, the growing rollout of 4G networks uh, going to have? Well, uh, I think it's going to be a, a major impact. Obviously, there'll be a lot more attractive applications for the carriers to offer, uh, and will allow them to be able to leverage this technology and those applications to get some more revenue so they can build this big new network or upgrade their network to support 4G. So I think it's a, it's a win-win situation. And again, um, our technology plays a big role in that because we can provide the bandwidth needed for 4G to many of the cell sites. Again, our technology is done over copper, uh, so we have a limitation, you know, several hundred megabits, for example. Some of the 4G technologies need a lot more than that, and you must have fiber based on if it's downtown New York or Los Angeles, but there is many, many cell sites that can still utilize what we provide and get hundreds of megabits for 4G uh, network buildup. Excellent, thank you. We're talking here at Comtel in uh, Las Vegas with uh, Hassam Salib from Positron. Hassam, thank you for joining me. Thank you, thank you, Eric.